Hey yeah, folks, how are we doing? Today we're doing, well we ain't got much to do, but uh, we've got a bit of digger work to do. We've got to finish a ditch off for someone. Um, so we're going to jump in the 210, and uh, she's got the hedge cutting guard on, because I was flailing with it um, the other day. <coughs> oh, let's try that again. Oosh. And uh, I did flower this ditch out. It's been, I don't know, about three quarters dug. And uh, we've just been asked to finish it off, so that is what I'm gonna do this morning. All right, I've gotta be a bit of a he-man, drag these quite way out of the way. Uh, whew, there you go. Shut the gate, we can get on it then. I've just got to strap the digger down, it's all on rear to go. Missed it. Up. We can pull it out then. We do need to give this trail a lot of room to turn. It doesn't look very long, but then that axle's a long way back. So it does cut quite bad. There you go, we're around. We are off. So we haven't got far to go today. To be honest, it would have, <laughs> if you could have tracked straight to where we're going, it would have probably been quicker to um, just track straight <laughs> over there. But um, not to be, there's a river in the way, so we couldn't do that. Um, which is a shame, but there you go. Uh, yeah, what's it? First of November today, and we haven't had any, you know, anything that you class as cold weather yet. Which is a bit odd, considering we're now in November. I suppose it'll get cold at some point, but um, you know, anywhere else we're in the country, yeah, well, have you had any cold weather yet? I mean, well, I'm quite happy, in, you know, it's colder today, but I'm still quite happy in my t shirt. Um, there's the odd shower coming through, it's supposed to be a bit unsettled, but we are, we are all drilled and well, I say we're all drilled up, we're all rolled up. We are, we are all drilled up and rolled up. Um, although we've got a bit more, um, we've got some spring ground that we might drill early, so um, it's only what 25 acres, um, so we might drill that, you know, in a bit. But uh, all intents and purposes, we're you know we're done. So uh, it's been <laughs> really easy as well. I mean, the weather's been so kind, you know. So. humpback bridge Ooh, yeah I think we were quite close to the bottom in hell we are away no 
Oh, right, let's go. Let's go digger in. Been a while since I've done uh, any digger work. Get rid of the digging buckets over there. So most of this has been dug by uh, another chap. I think we've got about a quarter of it to do up there. And I so flowered this. Uh, was it Friday? Might have flowered it Friday. And it's right bugger because the sun was well. It was late in the day. The sun was setting right over there, so I was looking directly at the sun. It was not much fun. There you go. You can see <laughs> see the difference here, like. Where uh, matey stopped. See, there wasn't exactly much of a ditch uh, <laughs> beforehand. So that's what we've got to do. We've got to do what's that? 50 yards. So like that. So it shouldn't take. Shouldn't take too long. Shouldn't take too long. But uh, I do love a bit of digging, so we'll get cracking. I just think digging's one of my favourite um, sort of favourite jobs that you know you don't do very often. Like you know, I always look forward to a bit of digging on the farm. Just sort of nice, just relaxing sort of work, isn't it? You just jingle along in your own little world, doing what you're doing. No one to bother you. No one to chase you or anything like that. How many um, 
comments I'll get saying, stick to your day job, George. <laughs> well, I don't pretend to be a professional digger operator. <laughs> I do get the job done though. One of them jobs you got to do, you know, you got to do a lot of just to keep your hand in sort of thing. I don't do enough to sort of build the skills up like, you know what I mean? I've got sort of, you know, I've got, you know, decent enough skills on it. Just need, um, just need more seat time really. Like anything. Practice makes perfect. Do enjoy it though. Now I did hint in one of the previous vids um, that I might uh, sell the TW. No, I don't really know why I said that, to be honest. Um, but it did get me thinking. Would I actually be able to get rid of that tractor? Or am I forever, is that forever mine? It's a good question. Um, like, would I trade that in for a 35? I don't know. I think. Well, I don't think I can get rid of it. Do you know what I mean? It's just, you know, it's part of the family now, that tractor. You know, um, I think if I did sell it, I'd certainly regret it. You know, that's the first, um, first tractor I ever bought. Yeah, you know, I don't think I could. Um, I don't think I could part with it. You know, it's. Um, yeah, you know, I've got that emotional bond with it. Um, well, the flashback's probably a bit. Well, I don't know about the same. I'm. I'm you know, I put a lot of work into that tractor. And again, it's sort of um, um, you know, you know, it's got a place in my heart that 3170. But I haven't, I've yet to sort of experience its, you know, its full glory. You know. Um, So I don't know, but would I, you know, the thing with the fast track is not such a classic as like the TW25. It wasn't the first tractor I ever bought either. It was the first fast track I bought though, wasn't it? Um, and when I get it right, would I, you know, after a few years, would I sell that to finance an upgrade? I don't know, again. I don't know, you, you pro I'll probably end up regretting it, like, you know, some of the cars I've sold. You know, like that um, Nissan Skyline I had, oh, was it probably 10 years ago now? R33 GTST. Um, you know, I wish I'd never sold that, but, you know, I did. So I don't know, I don't know whether I could sell any of this stuff or Maybe the Belarus. Although, again, you know, I'd love to get that, I really would love to get that going and, you know, take that to some events. I've been, um, you'll have seen it by now, I've been uh, editing up the Field of Friends video. And um, if you haven't watched it, go and watch it. There'll be a link in the description and at the end of the vid. Um, 
but uh, you yeah, know, watching them with the rule, they were all were they all trap marshals or was there one cat? I think they're all trap marshals there. bit dodgy up front now, that was a good job we got done I reckon. Looks like it's going to tip it down. Which it is supposed to the next few days, it's supposed to get some heavy rain, more heavy rain. But it doesn't really matter for us now. I've got a little bit more hedge cutting to do out the back. Um, but yeah, I mean, they are sort of, you know. Don't matter if it rains now for us really. It'll just make the crops grow, won't it? Enjoyed that little vid, bit diggering. I actually got another vid coming at some point, vid or two vids, whatever it'll be. Um, I'm a lot more diggers, um, but I just haven't got done. Um, but uh, yeah, it might be a little Christmas treat or something, I think. Um, it'll be quite good anyway, lot. <coughs> but uh, that'll do for now anyway. You've seen me doing enough diggering. I hope you enjoyed that little vid. I will see you on the next one. Ta-ta!